Welcome back to the Amy Kardashian and the Expert Show, where we bring some of the top experts in the world to help you transform your business and personal life. And sometimes we bring inspirational stories to let you see your life in a whole different perspective. I am your host, Amy Kardashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian. And I'm your co-host, Stephanie Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. Well, in this episode, and this is the fourth segment of four segments, we've been talking with Tim Zimmerman about overcoming the blocks to success. And we've been learning a lot, Amy. He's been giving us a lot of good information. Yeah, really good information. Yeah, thank you for coming in. I see a lot of you. So if you haven't, if you have been watching with us, staying the whole hour, perfect. I'm sure you gained a lot. If you're watching this one on social media, this segment alone, uh, then go to akexperts.com to watch all the segments we have, including the first segments with Tim. Right, and you can get more information on my website, the SM3 success.com sm3success.com and sm3 stands for sales marketing management and mind development okay so uh again initially in my um in my early career i sold and taught dale carnegie courses which is corporate training and then continued to train uh realtors when i was uh in mortgages for 28 years and i would go to the broker and say this is my background and they would say, when can you come in and do training? And okay. I would do training, people would gain more business. I'm telling and you, I bring the experts here. <laughs> That's right. Yes, That's yes. right. Yes. So what we've been what? talking about yeah, is this. Yeah, let's take them back a little yes. bit, just right. a little bit of each segment. The right. first one is about being from one, uh, zero to six years old and all that. Yes, mm-hmm. okay. the, the, the basically what, what I did is in developing this particular protocol and and program, Mm -hmm. which is a a comprehensive success system. We're talking about overcoming blocks to success because what I found is is that just like a computer system, if Mm -hmm. you have a D drive, the the main hard drive on a Mm -hmm. computer, and it's corrupted, no matter how much bells and whistles and positive stuff you put Mm -hmm. into it, you're still going to get corrupted information. Well, that's the same in our unconscious subconscious. So we have, and we've known, the the, uh, psychiatrists have known for a long time that we're programmed from birth to six years old. You can go back to Freud and Jung and Erickson, and in today's age, you can look up uh, Dr. Bruce Lipton, and he even talks about that to the extent where he says our belief system controls our genes. Yeah. So for people who feel it trigger, that... It triggers some things. Right, but for people who, who feel that their history of... You know, like cancer, they believe they, they're going to get it. Right, mm-hmm. like we talked about with the belief system, mm-hmm. we're implanted with the belief system. And if your belief system is that you're your family has history of cancer or diabetes or whatever the case may be, that is that. going to be, be your belief. Mm-hmm. Your belief actually creates your reality, and we've known that for a long time. Zoroaster, have that. Right. right. So the, the, the philosopher Zoroaster 4,000 years ago said, good thoughts, good words, good deeds. Mm-hmm. In other words, your thoughts create your words, which create your deeds or your yes. actions. That's been really the basis of the positive mental attitude, the think and grow rich, success with positive mental attitude, the magic of believing, the magic of thinking big. That's the foundation. It Mm -hmm. was there. That's the teaching. Right. So is that you can, if you can control your thoughts, you can control your life. That's Mm -hmm. like Wayne Dyer uh, used to say that. Change your thoughts, change your life. Right. And even, even Jesus said, as you believe in your heart, it is done unto you. Mm-hmm. So belief is done. What I've developed is a concept called the five laws of manifestation. Mm-hmm. Let me just give those to you real quick. Okay. First is your thoughts create the words that you speak to yourself mm-hmm. and to other people. How many of you speak to yourself? Yeah. You well, guys talk to yourself out there? <laughs> yes, everybody does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, it, it's it's funny how many people are hesitant to actually say that, but everyone does it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So thoughts create the words that we speak to ourselves. Mm-hmm and to other people when mixed with belief or emotion the wrong ones well whatever right or it, wrong yeah right, right yeah. or wrong it gives you the results right gives you actually helps you create decisions mm-hmm. which then you take action or inaction mm-hmm. inaction is is still an action okay so again uh thoughts words 
mixed with belief create your decisions and your actions that you take or inactions that you take on the world. The reason why I call those the five laws of manifestation is that if you don't have any one of those, you're not going to consciously manifest. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you don't think about something, are you going to manifest it? No, yes or no? It starts no. with your thinking. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you think about it, but don't talk to yourself and to other people about it, are you going to manifest it? Probably not. No, Probably it stays not. like a dream. Right. If you That's think why about, people, if you they think, don't move, they don't move forward because it stays there. Right. Mm -hmm. so, you don't talk to somebody about it. Right. So if you think about it, but talk about it, but you don't believe it, are you going to manifest it? No. 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 Mm -hmm. If you think about it, talk about it, believe about it, but you don't make a decision about it, are you going to manifest it? No. No. If you think about it, talk about it, believe about it, make a decision about it, but take no action about it, are you going to manifest it? No. No. Five laws of manifestation. But the interesting thing is, what creates our thoughts? Mm. What do you think? Where do our thoughts our come from? Our belief system. Our belief system. system. <laughs> Actually, Einstein, Einstein said that his ideas came from the ethers. But it's really your belief system, yeah. right, that creates your thoughts. Okay, so get this. Your belief system is the, creates yeah. your thoughts, which then create your words to yourself and other mm -hmm. people. Then you check with your belief system to see if it's right. And the belief system says, of course it's right. Right? Because that's where the thoughts came from. So this is the pattern of thinking, mm -hmm. the pattern of life. So if someone's caught in a negative spiral it's gonna stay there. it's gonna stay there okay, okay. so let's give so them the exercise let's do the yeah. exercise yeah, okay the exercise is minutes, this almost three minutes exercise is this you do two things one is you create a bracelet or a wristband like this or if you uh, call me or reach me through my website i will get you one of these especially well i'll get you one of these just i need your address go to the website yeah. right so it says watch your thoughts on it so Thank you. you wear this, Thank you. which I don't know if you're going to keep it on that side. It will. Okay. Okay. So you wear this for a week and you watch your thoughts when it becomes uncomfortable or you see it. You watch your thoughts for a week like clouds in the sky. You yeah. ever look at clouds in the sky mm -hmm. and they look like different things like mm -hmm. a, a bunny or a wolf or an angel or whatever. That's what you do with your thoughts for one week. After a week, you contact me. And you say, Tim, I watched my thoughts for a week. Why am I doing this? We'll talk about it, and then I give you the second step. The first step, this is profound. Everyone who does it says it's profound, and they keep on doing it for their whole life. The second step is even more profound. In addition to doing this, you can also take out sticky notes. Mm -hmm. So take out about 30 sticky notes mm -hmm. and write on each individual one, watch your thoughts on it the words, watch your thoughts on it, mm -hmm. and then put it up around your house, on the bedroom mirror, in the bathroom, bedroom, up all around your house as you go in a door, out a door, in the car, as long as it's not on the speedometer, yeah. in your purse, on your computer, on your phone, okay? And then that will remind you to continue to watch your thoughts. So we're not saying here, if somebody is, you're taking medication, you see a psych, you're seeing psychologists or something, you need to continue doing that. Yes, of yeah. course. That's not what we're saying. We're saying this is anything you do to improve yourself and have someone professional who's been there, who overcame obstacles and challenges, who are capable of helping you because now they're seeing their life in different perspective, then they be able to help you. But if you're on medication, you're seeing psychologists, please. Uh, right, and this is, this is this really is really another extra help for you too. Right, this is actually a compliment to what they would be doing yeah. also. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. Um, give your give your website one more time. My website is sm3success.com. Uh, this particular uh, exercise, if you put your email address in there, it actually gives you a write-up on it. And then also, Tim is going to be one of the faculty member on uh, AK and the Experts Academy, online academy. So go check it out and look at all the experts we have on the academy for the price of two cups of coffee a month. You could become a member and get access to all the experts. So until next week, thank you so much, Stephanie, and thank you, thank Tim, you. for thank being you. here. Thank and you. we'll see you next week. Okay.